So last but not least, we're going to hear from uh, Ms. Ka Morlak Magno Gunanan, and who is representing the Mai for this world. Good morning, everyone here, friends, and all the teachers from Europe and in Thailand, from Thailand. Uh, my name is Nikki, actually. It's easy to call. Um, I chose to be here, situated in the Netherlands. And then because of, of course, everyone says love is in the air, so I'm here too. But after that, um, beside that, um, I'm as a single mom now and with two children. I was very worried about the future of my two children. And when I started worrying about their future, I said everything, many things happened in this world. The wars, disease, global warming and everything. Then I said, I, I thought, how could I protect my children? And if I want to protect my children, maybe I need to protect all the young generations. Then I thought, what should I do and what can I do? Of course, in many lives of us, we have faced um, some convenience, uh, inconvenience of our life, and I did it too. I mean, I found, I faced that, those um, many challenges of my life, one way that I can take some rest and peace with myself is during meditation. And that because of all the teacher taught to be peace at mind. And when I found it, I thought, now I found a peace, so I want to have peace for my own. I wanted to be a nun. And I really wanted to leave the world, this society, to be a nun. When I was there, I thought, no, Nikki, that is very selfish. You find something for yourself and you escaped it. Go back to the world. Then I came back to the world. I said, now as a single mom, I want to protect my children. It is not just only two children. It is the children of the whole world. But because of my expertise as a psychologist and psychotherapist, I turned myself to be a mindfulness trainer because I noticed within my work, people get trapped in their own past. People get stuck in their own thoughts. They couldn't jump out of the thought. And even more than that, they didn't know, they don't know at all how they can live with some negative things in life and how can they cope with some negative emotions. So I said, what happened in the world this day? And surprisingly, I noticed that all of, the patient, of, of my clients, they cannot take rest. We are at the age of really working hard in this society. And we're working a lot because we want to make something happen to this world. But at the end of the day, we are exhausted. We cannot rest. We cannot relax anymore. And the end of the year, or maybe the end of our life somewhere, we get sick. Some suffer from cancers. Some suffer from some physical pain. Then I thought, what are we doing now? And how can the, the, adult, the adults world? We, we, we grow up, we learn a lot, we, using, we, we spend a lot of money to create our knowledge and everything in our career. But at the end, we should make it more happen. But at the end, we get sick. We cannot be for our children anymore. We cannot protect them. Are we still on the right path? I don't think so. So then I think, if I want to have my children in a peaceful world, where should I build? Where should I give it to them? I should go back 
to their parents. So then, as a um, the child psychologist, then I turned myself to be adult therapist. And I do believe at one point, an individual, my full mind, a peaceful mind, we will create a peaceful world. So then I think, Nikki, you go back to work with your clients and you fix them, you help them one by one. I teach people to cope with their emotions, to, can, uh, to be able to get some rest, relaxation, to can see and notice the awareness of their thoughts and tell them to come back to your secret home. And that's it. I said, when you come to me, I give you the tools. They asked Nikki, what kind of tools? The tools of the art of living. And that's it. I give them, and after that, we come back together in a group. Uh, uh, we practice in mindfulness together. But surprisingly, every one of them go back home. They be the model of their family. The mother teach their children to be mindful. The mother teach the children to breathe. A wife go back to their husband. They tell the husband, let takes some 10 minutes of practicing of mindfulness. And like this kind of thing, every piece starts at one person. And I always tell them, that the peace that starts from one person, we are like the energy, the energy of peace. And with one energy of peace, you get contact with the another energy, then you can influence each other. And with this kind of domino effect, then I think I am here for the peace, but the peace on my expertise as a psychologist, psychotherapist, and the mindfulness trainer. But then people ask, Nikki, but you are Buddhist. I said, yes, I'm Buddhist. When we go and get contact with you, will we become a Buddhist? I said, no. I speak here not on behalf of Buddhism. I am I'm speaking here as behalf of a lay person who have a Buddhist practicing and a Buddhist teachers. But I'm here as a single mom who want to build peace for our young generation. But I, sometimes, I work together with my colleague who are Islam, who are Christian. And surprisingly, we see that we have only the same goal. We want to have peace at mind, not for ourselves. We practice for ourselves, then we want to spread to the society around us. And with this, so last year I, be, I began to, uh, with the project because I chose to be here in the Netherlands, situated in the Netherlands. <coughs> and I, for me, Netherlands is my second mother home. So then we said, as a Buddhist, we should pay the gratitude to our second home, is Netherlands, is Europe. So then I um, organized a yearly um, retreat, meditation retreat in the Netherlands every year and once a year in Thailand. We go back together and we go to Thailand. People ask me again, Nikki, are you doing this for Buddhism? I said, no. For me and maybe for some of us, the same, the whole religion is only one religion, the religion of peace but in a different language, a different way. And so, I still feel, as here I stand, I think we are all, if we practice at ourselves the peace, then we will be the model of peace. And I still believe the peace and the goodness, the goodness that we build as energy, it will protect us and let the goodness protect us all. Thank you very much.
you very much, Nikki, Kamu Lakmano, Kunanan, for sharing her direct experience with the application of mindfulness. And now the word mindfulness is very popular, especially in the Western country. And there are many meditation masters who use mindfulness in the counseling and also in um, and giving them uh, counseling to the patient and emotional problem. 